Boom, what up, so we're next and only here, back to some more League of Legends action. We are playing some Mundo up in the top lane, going for a Sunfire PD Sanguine build. It's gonna be a real good split pushing build. Hold up. Oof, Kale Jungle Pog Champ. First gank, 85 minutes. Let's go. Uh, I don't know where this guy is. Oh, okay. I will definitely take that trade. Hot potion. Good try. Mundo Chops. If I hit all the cleavers, I mean, I'm going to win that fight. Got to be a little careful now. Oh, try to get it. Yeah, I got to be a little careful because obviously I'm half HP. Oh, what? Mr. President. Minions blocking over here. All right. All the minions are standing in such an awkward way. I can't hit this one. It was in the front and then they all walked up. Just gotta sit back, it's not a big deal. Just gotta be a little safe. Uh, PD's gonna be really good on Mundo because it obviously gives you a bunch of attack speed and crit. And then our E already gives us a ton of attack damage and gives us even more based on how low we get. So E gives you attack damage based on your HP, based on how much you have missing. So the more HP you have missing, the more damage it does. So when you're really low, you have that plus last stand combo. So it does a ridiculous amount of damage. That's annoying. Uh, I'm gonna get a ward here. Cue the guy. I mean, I obviously can't help. The wave's crashing on my tower. I missed the cannon, but I got the EXP. Not the worst thing ever. It'd be bad if I missed the EXP too. Um, try and hold the range minions outside of tower by doing this. Nice little trick. Cause now the way it freeze it, freezes out, if I did not stand up there for it, it would have crashed into my tower. Yo, what's happening in this mid lane? It's a bloodbath. Take a tower shot. Now we gotta let the wave crash in. Too many minions to try and hold. Oh my god, I'm trolling, bro. Oh my god, I'm trolling so hard. Jesus. I thought I'd have enough time to get my Q off, but... Eh, I did not. He stays up in the lane. Uh, sir? That's not gonna work. But yeah, so it's going to be a bunch of attack speed and crit with the PD. We still need to get uh, Sunfire Cape, because otherwise we'll just die way too quickly. We need some time to actually be able to get our damage off. So between our ultimate giving us health, nope, our ultimate giving us health back and uh, our tankiness from our items. Should be pretty good. I'm going to reset right now because he's really fast and he's going to get back to lane pretty quickly. Uh, probably going to go boots and another cloth armor here. Sweet. But yeah, so attack speed and crit off of the PD. Also, it's going to give us a big shield, which would be pretty nice as well. Help us when we get low with our ultimate. Uh, but yeah, almost. Like, the whole thing is when you have a ton of attack damage, you really want to get crit and attack speed. Because attack speed obviously increases how often you get to use that attack damage. Crit amplifies the attack damage you have. And the same thing, like, the other way, right? Like, if I have a ton of... Uh, that's why you see, like, Yasuo's go Zeal plus a BF sword. Because Zeal, he gives double crit, because it's Yasuo. And then he gets a BF sword for the big attack damage. So the crit scale is really hard. That's why ADCs turn on really hard later on in the game. Trying to bait him in. Should be able to just run past this. I think we still have him. Yeah. Big play! Nice job, dude. Yeah, my W reduces uh, CC as well. Gives me tenacity. I'm going to keep my W on, try and shove this wave in. E is also an auto attack reset, so you should be autoing and then you will seeing E afterwards. Something like auto E. See the damage increase? It went from 60 something damage a hit to 111. It's massive. So it falls off, we're doing 53. Auto E, now we're doing 85. You know what I mean? This thing has a ton of armor, so it's a pain in the ass. <clears throat> 
Try and clear this wave real quick. Ooh, maybe not. Pop potion, walk away. Q. I like it. Uh, he's gonna hit six off of this. Oh, use that shield to shove the wave, because the shield's on cooldown. Most of the top lane's about uh, cooldown windows, so if you get them, you can abuse them, right? He uses his ability where he probably shouldn't. I punish. Really want another 100 gold. It's kind of annoying. So I can get Tabby and... I guess I just do this, Devil. That's fine, too. I wanted the uh, Bombie Cinder with Tabby, but this is actually really good in terms of like stat allocation. <clears throat> just gives me a bunch of raw beef. Oof. This guy's gonna be strong. Run back to the top lane. Let's go, baby. Warmog's later. I mean, way later. I gotta get into my Sunfire Cape. Um, me Mundo, me Smash. Hello. Easy peasy. A lot of times with Mundo, you can just wait for them to dodge to death, right? Like, he uses the shield to try and dodge my Q, but I don't throw the Q. I just wait. And then I throw the Q after he shields, because then he can't dodge anymore, right? Trying to get this play. Noise. Pop potion here. Sweet. How much is the upgrade from here? I think it's like 11. Yeah, 1150. Might get a little greedy. Boop. Oh my god, 250. Jesus. Thing hits like a truck. I love it. Searching for it. Uh, we can just clear waves here. It's not a big deal. Clear waves, keep shoving into his tower. Yeah, your Q does percent max HP damage. Max HP? No, 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 current. Yeah, yeah, it's 30% current when it's maxed. So, if he's full health, it does a ridiculous amount. Which is pretty damn good. Just play a little save, finish his last wave up. This will give me the 1150 I need. Be a little careful here. Nice. Oh, how did I miss that? I should have my W turned on right there. Ooh, baby. I might go for a kill. Hmm. Let's start it back. If he runs up and lane. Nah, I should just clear wave. I want to clear wave because there's no... Yeah. There's no reason to back right there without clearing. He can't contest me on the wave. So I want to shove and then leave. You don't ever want to just like leave with the minion wave right there. Because now look at the time I buy myself, right? I'm already starting my back. The next wave is all the way at the tier 2. Let's grab this. Get a pink ward. Run back to lane. So by the time the next wave even gets to the middle of the lane, right? Where I can start to take damage and start to die. I'm like halfway back to lane. That's why it's so important to shove and then leave. Shove and then leave. Shove and then leave. Whether it's back timing or roam timing. It's the importance of shoving. Because it's the faster you do it, the same reason why... Like singe proxies, right? The faster you clear that next wave, the more time you have, the more free time you have to go do other things without risking your tower, risking your minions. I lost one minion for that shove. Pretty damn good. I'm gonna face check. Uh, I'm gonna shove this. Between Sunfire and my uh, W burn, we are melting these minions. Uh, okay. Oh, I didn't have W on. Well, he's so fast. He's so fast. Oh my goodness. Ooh, the moves. My team's winning the other side of the map, so I just want to keep pressuring this guy. I've demolished, right? If I've demolished, I walk up like this. Stand right here. Oh. Turn a W on. Should be okay. Auto E. Do this guy, get him. Beautiful. He thought I was going to keep focusing the other one. Auto E. Beautiful. Like I said, if I'm low HP, I'm 
gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage. My E is putting me at 200 attack damage right now. It's not even max yet. It's absurd. So from 158 to 200. Crazy. Can I take tower? Auto E. Oh baby. Auto E. Yeah, this guy. Ooh. I could actually win this. Oh my god, it hits like a truck. <laughs> I kind of want to greed for my item. Because it's actually like 26, right? And I have 22. Oh, this plant's not up. We'll get this guy. Sweet. Pop here. Pop this. Just wait for our ultimate, that's all. There's a play in bot lane. I have to ult immediately. Woo! Big blaze. Alright, now we get the PD. I just had to wait for my team to collapse, and me standing here, you saw how Caitlyn didn't want to like, or sorry, uh, Bane didn't want to like walk past me. So I was able to buy myself a little bit of time for my teammates to catch up. Then we actually hit a really good queue. I think I kind of lucked out on that one, but <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Hit a nice Q. All right, so next item is gonna be the Sanguine Blade. That's gonna allow us to split push like a madman. Again, we have a ton of attack damage, right? We're gonna add even more here. We have a ton of attack damage from our E. We're amping it up with crit. We're amping it up with attack speed. Oh no, oh no. You're in trouble, buddy. There's no way it gets out. Can minion, no! It's all right. For the burn damage from W and uh, Sunfire Cave. Wild though. What's on fire burning for? 36 right now. Our W is burning for 40. Oof. Unfortunately, our bot lane just died. Oh, then he died too. All right, whatever this one. Dragon's coming up in 12. Team should probably head over there. There's not much we can really do about it, actually, because our bot lane just died. Auto E. Bro, the crits, though. I love it. Oops. Oh. Turn W on just in case. Just in case he hits me with his ultimate CC. That's what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna sit in here for a second. Looking for a play. None to be found. All right, my team actually should be able to get Dragon off of this though. Because this guy just got really chunked out. And this dude's stuck in mid lane. Oh no. If he leaves this way, I don't know if I can catch him. I might just R for movement speed. Alright, never mind. I can catch him. Oh, I missed. I think I'm dead. Yeah. Never mind. Oh my god, I almost killed him. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, Vayne E knocked me away from this guy's ultimate. Okay, I'll take it, bro. I'm huge. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so big right now. Just gonna get in the side lane with this. The PD shield is juicy. I completely forgot about that, though. If I remembered about it, I probably could have... Maybe done that a little bit better. One thing that you have to try and always do is like play everything out. Like play everything out like you're gonna live. Play everything out like you can make the play. Cause sometimes what a lot of people end up doing is they're like, oh, I'm dead. Like they think they, you know, oh, I'm dead. And then they just don't play it out correctly mechanically. Like they, they get lazy, you know what I mean? Like they won't go for another auto attack when they can obviously get another auto attack. Well, maybe not obviously, but they might be able to if they're wrong. And we're all not, we're all, we are all not always correct, so, me included, I know, I know I'm a genius big brain, but sometimes, I know, sometimes I'm wrong. Very weird, you would never guess watching my stream. <laughs> so you should always try and like, uh, finish every single play out. 
Because they might make a mistake too. Gonna go get his ward. The whole team's gonna come. I don't know if I can actually do this. Oh, yeah, his whole team's gonna come. <laughs> Tanky! Oh my god, I almost one shot him. I was actually playing to escape there. I should have just tried to turn. Ooh. Caitlyn's doing good damage, though. Caitlyn's doing really good damage. Or, not Caitlyn, Kale. Ooh, there it is. Damn, I was playing to run away there. I actually thought I could get out because this guy ulted over the wall and missed me. And then this guy already used the slow. And then this guy already used all of his stuff to get onto me. I was kind of thinking I could get out with my W turned on. But this guy slows me again and then they're able to finish it. A little unfortunate. I kind of just wish I turned earlier. If I turned, I think I would have killed people. Uh, I'm going to go top here. Lame. It's kind of ironic that I was... Well, I mean... I was playing to get away. That's like the different thing. Like I was playing to try and escape rather than going for the kills. But yeah, if I played that out differently and went for the kills instead, ooh, could have got it. Bloop. I mean, I also got a lucky crit on the guy. Because <laughs> I, I have 25% HP and I crit on that same that one auto that I hit him with. No, actually I autoed E, didn't I? So it's two autos. So not insanely unlikely that I hit a crit there. Uh, let's try and grab this. Need a little bit more gold. That guy's super dead. Goodbye, my friend. I have enough if I sell my Dorans, or I can just walk over here. Catch this wave. You can auto cancel so quickly, too. I think I'm gonna get like IE next. Might as well take this camp away. I see where four other people are on the map, and then the only other person is the Riven. I'm not really worried about her. Let's grab this. Dragon's up soon. 50 seconds. I really want to be split pushing with this. I have teleport available too, so I can split push top and then TP to the fight if I have to. Get a pink ward. For the advanced vision. I like it. Sweet. Not too bad. Alright, team setting up early. I like that. Smart. I do have teleport. Looking for the play. Ooh! I wonder if I just ult him and run at him. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm gonna hold off on that. What up, Frank? Oh, might have to TP. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Frank. I think I'm okay here. I just walk away. Let my team start going in. Now I can go back. Cue him. He has no ultimate. He can't get away. Oh, I should have kept chasing. Got it. He might sleep me. No? Okay. Dragon. Is this up? Uh, we could leave Q on... Or W on now. Frank. Alright, I'm gonna shove bot. The attack speed's ridiculous, bro. This much attack speed when you have two, uh, 264 attack damage. That's kind of ridiculous. I think I'm gonna do IE next, though. Because that'll give us 50% crit. So if I auto E, one of those should uh, be a crit. Let's get a pink here. Uh, let's not do that. Their whole team's coming. I'm gonna sit in this one for a second. Do I try and fight this guy? No. Ah! Alright, run. <laughs> I was hoping he was gonna face jack me. He did not. I don't think he can kill me by himself. Because now I have a bunch of lifesteal on top of all that attack damage. We're going to push for a tower here. Because they're all going to fight at Baron. And I obviously can't get there in time. Oh, this is going to be perfect if the team fights that. 
If I hit a Q, I can all in him. Ooh, I might go anyways. There we go. Nope, time to go. I kind of regret. Oh, actually, never mind. It doesn't matter. I was gonna say I kind of regret having my Debbie turned on because that's what pulled Tower Aggro, but I would have done it with Sunfire Cape anyways. I just need to hit a Q. If I don't hit a Q, I can't really catch. I baited out the E without getting hit by the tower, which was, or hit into the tower, which is good, but was not enough. Not Drop. Drop. <laughs> You're a dweeb. <laughs> the attack speed's so ridiculous, though. I think team might try and end, but... Uh, I think we should go up here. We do this or we just back. I think I might just want to back real quick. Start working on my IE. Sell this. Get this. Steal red buff real quick. Go, go. Doink the red buff. I think I can actually outsmite him. Come on! Alright, 400 damage regular auto attack, not even critting. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Still have 2500 health, you know, with 180 armor. It's not like we're extremely weak. Aww, oh, got his flash. Should be able to catch him, one auto. Sniped him. <laughs> they surrendered immediately. Come on now. <laughs> oh shit. I like it. I like it. Not bad. Hello screen? Game is still in progress. Mm, I don't think that's accurate. I'm gonna give it to this guy because he gave me top lane. Noise. Thanks friend. GG. Hell yeah, baby. GG. Let's go. Number one damage. You know what it is. It's me, Dr. Mundo. Yeah, I was just going to get the IE and then like perma split push. Uh, if we need like more, obviously, if we needed more defensive items there, like we had a stronger champion that we were against and we weren't snowballing so hard, or we had to like actually group and team fight, definitely don't go for the IE. We could just go for like Dead Man's Plate. You know, we need magic resist. Obviously, Visage is god tier on Mundo. They just didn't have a crazy amount of magic damage. So it wasn't really that big of a deal. I mean, they had jungle, AP jungle, AP uh, mid, but they kind of couldn't go for me. I mean, the jungle could, but the mid lane, like Malphite ulting me is probably pretty pointless. I still have like 2,500 health. He's not going to one-shot me. And then my E also gives me scaling magic resist too. But yeah, like I said, if I needed the extra magic resist, I could get Visage instead of the IE. Otherwise, I'd get IE and keep sperma, or perma split pushing. But yeah, anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you want to watch the road to a master's or a thousand gifted subs in 60 days, that's over on the highlight channel. We're posting like almost every day on that channel. So SRO highlights for that. And then yeah, follow the live stream. Solar connected only. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.